All right, so tonight we are going to test out the old wives' tales. And as you see, someone's very excited for it. So we got a little chart over here with the different tests. And it's a boy, a girl, and you know, undecided if the test doesn't work out too well. Over here, we got some cabbage boiling. We got our bacon soda ready to go, and we're not going to use the soap tonight. All right, babe. First test. Do you, or would you say you have a sweet tooth during your pregnancy? Would you rather prefer sweets or salty and sour foods? Well, compared to before the pregnancy, I do have a sweet tooth, but I still love my salty snacks as well. But you say you have more of a sweet tooth now? Yes. Okay. So, test number one, sweet tooth means girl. Apparently. All right, next test. Stand up. We gotta see how high you are carrying. If you're carrying high or low. Let's see the belly. What do you think? I think I already dropped. So you think you're low? I think I'm lower. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go. We'll go with low. So let's see. And. What do you think it means, boy or girl? Don't know, huh? Alright. The next one says, if you're having a girl, it means she steals your beauty and you have breakouts. If it's a boy, then your face is just as great as it was before. I think it's looking just as great as it was before. Well, a few weeks ago I had a very bad breakout that was all over my face, so who knows? It's not being very helpful. So you're saying yes or no on that one? I'm not going to say. Why not? Who knows? We'll go with, we'll go with on this side on that one for now. Alright. Go over here. Now see the key. Pick up the house key. Just the house key pickup. Uh -huh. Interesting. So I pick it up by the key part of it. I can turn my phone back on. And that means if I could find it, there's a girl. Where did they get these tests from? I have no idea. All right. Now you said you've had a dream before, right? One yeah. dream? One dream. And what was it? It was probably in my fifth month. I dreamt that in my sixth month, I went into labor early and had a very tiny, but very perfect little beautiful girl. Well, according to these people, dreams mean the opposite. Well, we're gonna go with boy on that one. And as I could already see, the test is all over the place. Next up, would you say since you've been pregnant, are you more clumsy or ever so graceful? Oh, I'm always clumsy. <laughs> clumsy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are. All right, so clumsy is boy, I think. Clumsy is boy. All right, now the hand test. Earlier today, Marianne's stepmom mm -hmm. asked her to show her hands and then she'd tell her she's on the boy or girl. So let's see what happens now. All right, stand up. Put your hands on your belly. All right, now show me your hands. Aha, same way as before. Palms down means boy, palms up means girl. So you show me the back of your hand. You want to get the uh, thing there? Got our cabin going, power off. That's weird. All right, let that cool down a little bit. We're going to pour that into a cup without burning it. It's going to melt that cup. We'll put it in a cup. 
Hey, babe. Oh, look. Who doesn't like to wear his wedding band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who always wears her wedding bands? Relax. All right. Tight. All right. This one's going to be your favorite. Definitely my favorite. It's the boob test. Now, if I say one is bigger than the other, determines a boy or girl. Obviously, you see them more than I do right now. Which one do you say is bigger? Or do you not think they're the same? They're the same. She was pretty quick on that one. Well, test that out later. I know the answer to this one, but we're going to have to ask. Have you had any headaches during pregnancy? Throughout. Okay, headaches. Oh, I think we're uh, coming away with a little winner here. Another one for the boy. The ring test. We'll come back to that one. Let's do your hair. Do you say your hair has been thicker or thinner? Your Same. Your hair is pretty thick. Always thick. Give me one second and I will prove it. Gotta prove it. Yeah, I would definitely say thick. Alright. But no thicker than normal. But it's not thinner. No, but definitely no thicker. And once again. Looking good, babe. All right. I'm gonna take a quick pause and then we're gonna finish up the rest of the test here. All right, now to finish the rest of the test, my lovely assistant here has to give us a uh, sample. So she'll be back while she goes, I will prepare the rest. All right, get the ring test going here. Got to put the phone to camera down, I think. Everyone say hi to the dog. Say hi, Dixie. Yeah. You know. All right. Hold on one second. We'll get this going. All right. The next test, we're going to do the uh, baking soda test. So they say... Let's get, oh, let's get the test out. They say that if you pour it in and it fizzes, it means boy. If not, girl. And how much am I pouring in? Eh, maybe half of what you got there. I have a lot here. Well, this is a baking soda. Where, where am I pouring it? Into this cup. And... Is this fizzing? It's bubbling. I wouldn't say fizzing. Yeah. And we got nothing on that one. So we're going to mark that one down for, did I say girl? Yes. One for the girl. All right, now the cabbage test. So apparently if you poured into the water that was uh, from the cabbage that we boiled for about 10 minutes. Um, that stays the same, just kind of like a blue right now. Oh, it's not kind of blue. That is blue. Yeah, that's blue. So it stays the same. It's a girl, which doesn't make sense on this thing here. If it changes, it's a boy. So let's try that. Just dump the rest of them. See that one purple? Yep. So we're going to say that changed. Mark that one for the boy again. No, you said if it changes, girl. Did I? Yeah, stays the same, girl. Changes boy. Yeah, that's what's backwards. All it's right. It's funny, when you look at that color and that one to this one, it is so similar. I'll give her that one. So... Oh, I'm going to put girl. All right. Ready to do more? So 
So can I get rid of my urine? Yeah, throw it out. I'm not drinking out of that one. All right, real quick. So apparently when you get pregnant, you get a dark line underneath the belly button without showing everyone. So we know where it is right now. Is it staying, stopping at the belly button or is it going up to your ribcage, which I've never seen before. Hold on. You can just turn around. I'll be okay. <laughs> it is stopping. Stopping at the belly button. So apparently that means... Girl. These are very highly scientific. Um, all right. Last up, unless we need the tiebreaker, which I don't think we're going to need, is another ring test. So let's go to the living room and work up that All right, let's go to the room. And once again, there's Dixie being helpful as always. Hi, Dixie Lou. The room is pretty dark here. All right, go ahead and lay down on the couch. Let's turn on this lamp on, see if that helps at all. Not really. You gotta lay down flat. Well, maybe you should have said that before I lay down. Don't worry, Pop. You need to adjust yourself. All right, so apparently I left my phone in the room, so I'll get that. Just uh, get comfy. So now with the ring test, Supposed so to bounce her wedding ring off her belly three times. And it goes in a circle, it's a boy, it goes back and forth straight, it's a girl. So let's see. Let's see if I can get a good angle here. Yes, that's right now. So one, two, three. I didn't do a whole lot. Let's try it again. One, two, three. I'm going to hit the straight line. You? Sure. <laughs> okay, straight line. Here you go. Can you help you out? Yep. All right, let's go and mark this one down. So straight line with the ring was girl. Um, got a little closer than I thought. Hey babe, come on in. Time to tally it up. Slowly moving. <laughs> So, for the boy, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Girl, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And two undecided. So, now the tiebreaker, which all people go by, is from the Chinese calendar. Well, I did a little bit of looking it up before. And actually, it was summer today, I saw the same thing. You know, wearing magazines. But the tiebreaker. You know, your lunar month, the year, blah, blah. Guess the conception. Hmm. So judging by this, someone's not too happy, apparently. No, somebody just finds this all very frivolous. It's all for the fun. So according to this, with the tiebreaker, looks like a little boy. But, how many weeks we have left? Uh, 11. Guess in about 11 weeks, we will find out. And I just have to say, the whole carrying high or low, I was always told that when you're carrying high, you're having a boy, and when you're carrying low, it's a girl. You know, I checked a few different sites, and 
a few of them had different things. So no scientific reason behind any of them. But eh, we'll see what happens. Eleven weeks, December third. November twenty seventh through December third. A week. So until then, I guess we'll wait and figure out. Now, uh, just so no one claims I stole this idea, I got this from uh, Travis Clark on YouTube, which I'll post a link to on the YouTube page down below. And then uh, until next time, we'll see you later.